Now, I know some people want me to bypass Congress and change the laws on my own. Believe me. And... And, and, and believe me, uh, right now dealing with Congress, the idea, but, but, but believe me, uh, believe me, the idea of, of doing things on my own is very tempting. It, 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 I, I promise you, not, 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 just, not just on immigration reform. <laughs> but that's not, how, that's not how our system works. That's, that's, that's not how our democracy functions. That's not how our Constitution is written. The number of homeless Iraq and Afghanistan veterans is exploding in the United States. There are nearly 10,500 who are either living on the streets or in temporary housing or receiving federal vouchers to help pay rent for an apartment. That's according to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. This is one of the costs of having uh, military service and being involved in armed conflicts like this, that if you don't take care of people when they come back, then things are going to happen like they're going to become homeless. In 2006, there were around 1,300 homeless vets who served in Iraq or Afghanistan. That number has doubled three times in about six years. Of the nearly 10,500 currently homeless, about 13 percent are women. It's way too high. We have, there ought to be some sort of infrastructure and support to, to help them when they get home. The veterans at administration blames the rise on a number of factors, including a poor economy, but also on the current nature of these wars, where many soldiers serve multiple deployments and suffer psychologically from what they've seen and experienced. Steve Berg of the National Alliance to End Homelessness says soldiers experiencing post-traumatic stress or suffering from brain injuries are quite challenged in many areas coming home from war. These really are disabilities that have serious effects on people's abilities to hold down a job, to interact with family members, to, to deal with people like landlords in business kinds of, of transactions, and they all contribute to to homelessness. Americans paying respect to fallen soldiers at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial were astounded by the high number of vets who served in Iraq and Afghanistan who are now homeless. Let's bring them all back. And plus, you know what they're talking about now, you know, with the debt relief and all that other stuff. I mean, that's just money just not being spent very well, in my opinion, but bring them on back. Government and nonprofit groups are pouring more resources than ever into fighting veteran homelessness. The VA is steering $60 million to a grant program for veterans with families who are homeless or at risk of losing their homes. And more than $46 million is going to expand the rent subsidy voucher program for vets. There are more than 2,400 nonprofit organizations across the country helping homeless vets. So, how much activity has he has? Um, but uh, here's his passport. You I understand. My ID? Okay, no, I don't need yours. This I need to show. Does he does he use his checking? Is that a checking account or just savings? He does have it's checking, correct? Here's his checking. I know, account. but does he show activity? Does he use it? We um, need to show activity, not just a balance. Well, yeah. Here, here's his purchase on Amazon. Oh, just one. Okay. I mean, that is some he's, activity. He's not employed, so... Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Your first name is? Max. Maxwell.
Okay, you need to go down to the photo waiting area at the other end of the room, get a picture picture done first. All right. After the picture's done. Sir, what if what if he now, was sorry. homeless and he five, didn't have a, seven, a bank nine, account? Five, I, I haven't dealt with that yet. Number. So Well, I'm, this is a legitimate question. I know, it is, but you, I'm not one to answer that. They are over there because they're the full-time employees. Um, so they would have to answer that question. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, July 29th, 2011. I'm Darko, this is part three, the final part for today. My website is ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. Um, and also, ddarko2012 is my YouTube channel. Or check out the Facebook group, uh, Global Government News group on Facebook. Um, the link is posted in the video description on YouTube also with the links in order that they're covered. So check those out, the headlines and links. U.S. Navy orders laser machine guns but keeps option to fire regular enormous uh, bullets. U.S. Navy warships will soon be equipped with fearful combination weapons uh, mounts boasting uh, both heavy machine guns and high-powered laser ray guns. It's been announced, so Boeing is the manufacturer. And go in there and talk about an MK-38 Ma 2 tactical laser system to naval requirements. As said, uh, it brings higher precision accuracy against surface and air targets such as small boats and unmanned aerial vehicles. The system also provides the ability to deliver different levels of laser energy depending on the target and the mission objectives, which are taken out usually sovereign countries and uh, maybe little militias that are trying to fight this, uh, quote, New World Order. Some people call it Marines aim to uh, stun as U.S. ships to peacekeeping. So this is a peacekeeping weapon. It says here, blinding lasers replace guns for peacekeeping. It says the emerald bean is so piercingly brilliant that it temporarily blinds and disorients a would-be slave. A uh, few attackers would push on towards the Marine wielding the light-based weapons. So again, this is just getting closer and closer to just, they don't need hardcore weapons in, in that anymore because the sheep have been trained to be sheep. And that's just to uh, go where the flock is and, and, and be like other sheep. So uh, they just need these passive weapons, basically a what? Uh, like a um, cattle prod, you know? And that's basically what uh, what these things are. They're cattle prods because, uh, you know, most people nowadays, they just do what they're told. And um, you heard that one in the speech where Obama's given, like uh, he's talking about, if, uh, you, know, you know, this is a democracy that we live in, like, it really is, right? And then he's, and then you hear someone in the crowd say, "We'll change it." And it's like, okay. And you see them all smirking and laughing, talking about Laurent's a hero, all for the race, everything outside the race, nothing. Um, that's what it means. And uh, yeah, they're snickering and laughing and stuff like that. And they just had the Dream Act passed. Um, it just gets me. It gets me uh, kind of not worked up because I don't really care about statism anymore. I'm just tired of people complaining about it. And then when I when I propose a stateless society, they say, "Oh, well, no, it won't ever work. We need a government." So I just say, "I oh, shut the hell up, then, right? Just shut up. If you're not going to come up with a real solution, you're going to sit here and bicker and and watch your futures and your children's future be played with by these pigs and uh, Wall Street and Washington. Then hey, go ahead. You deserve to be taken advantage of, and." Um, you know, and there was a woman in Congress that got kicked out of Congress because she was upset with the immigration uh, policies in the U.S. And uh, that was the same day that the DREAM Act was passed, which, uh, you know, taxpayers in the U.S. are going to end up paying for illegal immigrants to go to college and go to school. So go in there and check that out. Uh, NSA lawyer questioned over cell phone location tracking of Americans. And it says here, is the government using cellular data to track Americans as they move around the U.S.? Well, they're going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you or uh, give you my idea, which is yes. If there's a GP, if you have a cell phone on you, you have a GPS on you. And if you are a person of interest, quote, a target, it, then yes, they will. Uh, they will GPS you. I've had it done to me on the streets uh, when I go, uh, maybe go out to lunch or something in a downtown area. Uh, yeah, there'll people be people that will walk by and they will walk right up to you and then they'll pull out their cell phones and they'll press a button and then they'll close it and they'll get, smile at you. So they smile at your face when they GPS you. 
even if you don't have a cell phone on you. So it says here, according to the general counsel of the NSA, it may have the authority who is currently the NSA uh, at the NSA and has been nominated to lead the counterterrorism center. So the Anti-Patriot Center discussed the possibility at a confirmation hearing Tuesday morning as a Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. Got to keep moving. Got a lot to cover here. NYPD pioneers new dirty bomb detection system. So it's groundbreaking counterterror technology. Uh, dramatically increased its ability to detect and thwart potential radiation attacks and allow commands it'll allow a command center uh, in Manhattan to monitor 2,000 mobile radiation detectors carried by officers each day around the city hmm we'll send wireless real-time alert so they're they themselves those dumbasses are going to be getting radiated while they're carrying those stupid things around so stupid aren't they they don't get it <laughs> You know, like these guys that inspect these uh, wireless towers that are emitting uh, radiation and, and, and this uh, um, ELF smog. I mean, they, they put these little meters on them uh, and they tell them, oh, you have to turn these towers off before you go and work on them because, and maintain them or service them. Because why? Because they're, 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 uh, they're getting cancer. The radiation is high in those things and they're going to work on them and they're getting very, very ill and sick. Uh, so they have these people go up there with these meters uh, strapped to their pockets. Uh, you know, it's just it's just insane, really. Lockheed Martin awarded $72 million to help TSA upgrade and install new airport security equipment. So they've been awarded the military-industrial complex. So there you go. House panel approves broaden ISP snooping bill. Internet providers will be forced to keep logs of their customers' activities for one year in case police want to review them in the future under legislation. Uh, it says here, and it was a 19 to 10 vote. It says here, internet providers to save user data under the guise of a child porn here, and it goes on here. And uh, basically, when you look in here, this is basically what we were just talking about. So this is it's always under the name of saving the children, helping the children, like vaccinating them, and that brain waves can cut breaking distances researchers say so they're using humans right now to build the future which is basically uh, autonomous vehicles that can stop by themselves which they probably already can i've seen that google uh, video of the or a video of a google uh, mapping car so google earth car going around driving itself i mean there was someone driving remotely but can you imagine if it was like that if it was like demolition man but that's what they're trying they're using humans so they can phase the human element out of everything a uh, sleepy market town surrounded by a ring of car cameras, small, small market town in the UK has become the first place in Britain to be encircled by a surveillance system tracking the movements of all motorists amid protests from civil liberty campaigners. U.S. judge upholds federal embryonic stem cell funds, so your tax, bar, tax dollars going towards that. And it says here, North Carolina lawmakers approve abortion restrictions. Women seeking abortions in North Carolina will be required to wait 24 hours and receive state-mandated counseling before the procedure. So the judge orders circumcision ban off San Francisco ballots. The judge has struck a measure from the November ballot calling for a ban on male circumcision, which is completely pharaonic. It comes from the pharaohs. That's who still rules us. Uh, that's why I said check out that video. And that's why uh, most of us and Muslims and all that, we all get circumcised to show that our leader is the the pharaohs and says here strokes rise among pregnant women and says here new mothers hospitalized for stroke has significantly increased in the u.s over the past 12 years and most of them because they're overweight falling breast cancer death rates have little to do with screening that's right not only does uh, all that screening over screening cause uh cancer but then it says here that it doesn't even uh catch it obesity shortens americans life expectancy study finds no cancer link with kids and cell phones color-coded children school puts bright children in different uniforms so smart people get in different uniforms that's eugenics guys growing number of children don't know their own name they'd almost 900 expelled from school every day a uh, u.n group stands up for children's sexual and reproductive rights including them this is the future for africa they could be the next manufacturing slave hub so they're training the children Children, street children for jobs Australian census to count gay marriage for the first time and then we have friends cast has uh, 85 sex partners and 236 show FDA flu super antibody may bring universal vaccine awesome great looking forward to it forced to wear an ankle bracelet tag because she didn't uh, euthanize her dog then Brevik cooperative says the police and he could be put in a mental institution like uh, Lofner then EDL's online links with Norway killer fuels calls to ban London in March and European police services in an alert state due to right-wing extremism. German police raid rightous home, confiscated weapons and ammunition from the person because they suspected he was a right-wing extremist.
sorry, Norway uh, basically agreed to review its security measures after the right-wing zealot traumatized the nation. And Aberdeen, Washington won't name the bridge after Kurt Cobain, the bridge that he probably lived under. This is GGN. I'm Dar